but we are joined by a composer. So we have Anna Klein here. Hi, Anna. Hello. Great to be here. Thank you. It's really nice to see you, and it's nice to see your little um, cello and piano there. Yes. Can you play them both at the same time? Uh, no. <laughs> Let's try, I think. <laughs> so we're very happy because we, um, we have a long and happy um, uh, relationship with you musically. We um, um, are all intertwined, which is really fantastic. Um, the piece that we're about to hear is a piece on um, Rapture for clarinet and, um, and extra stuff, which maybe you can tell us a little bit about. But it's something that we've done on the festival before. So, so we're really happy to have it back, and maybe you can tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, thank you so much for including this piece. It's a piece called Rapture, and I wrote it for Eileen Mack, who's going to be performing it today. Um, we were at Manhattan School of Music together and at the Bang on a Can Summer Festival as well. Um, and it's a piece for clarinet with live processing. So she sounds a bit more like an electric guitar than a clarinet. She plays through distortion and reverb. Um, and then she also plays with a, a pre-recorded track, which she synchronized with a click track. And the pre-recorded track includes um, sounds that she's recorded. So playing very pure tones or multiphonic sounds. And I cut them up and layered them up. Um, and then the beginning begins with the sound of rain at the time I was living in New York City and there's a big thunderstorm. So I recorded that. So you'll hear that. And I sing um, later in the piece too. <laughs> um, so I forget what the lyrics are, but uh, I think I will catch you, catch you under the sky. Um, and it also has quite a strong rhythmic component, which um, uh, Jody Elf made a max patch uh, where I gave him some of Eileen's samples and it created a rhythm, gen rhythm generator. So lots of different layers. Amazing. And is this version different from the earlier version? Like, like when you said the Jody, is, is this, is, is it, has there been an evolution or is it exactly as we originally heard it? It's as it was originally, yeah. So, but first time I heard on live performance online. So that's definitely a first. Yeah, and the process of working with Eileen was that um, a lot of dialoguing back and forth with, you know, when you're first coming up with the ideas. And yeah, it was. Actually, the first version of the piece was, was not very good. I, I mean, she, she worked, really worked with me to make it stronger. And that's something I love is having the opportunity to work closely with musicians, um, especially when I'm a string player. You can see my cello in the back there. Um, so it, writing for the winds seems a bit more of a foreign instrument to write for. So she was really... Um, really helpful and really collaborative in that process. So it was really uh, tailored for the very, very high notes that I wouldn't have known the clarinet could play and sort of very jumpy um, little gestures that I also wouldn't have known. So she was really an integral part of writing the piece. Fantastic. Looking forward to hearing this. I, of course, we know Eileen Mack for many years. She's uh, also uh, one of the many people along with you, Anna, that uh, was part of the Bang on a Can Summer uh, music festival and um, I've heard her play this piece before I know how fantastic she is and how beautiful the pieces 